we actually hang out in we real life. We, we have a, a weekly group, group Zoom. Before we get into the film-related questions, I like to ground my interviews. So I'm curious to know, what is something each of you is grateful for in this moment? I'm grateful for this film. I'm grateful to be amongst, you know, uh, castmates that I admire and and uh, look up to. and. Uh, and I, I get to be in this incredible film. Yeah, I think every day, I think you lead with gratitude, so I appreciate you asking that question. To be here um, is a privilege, it's an honor to have a job that I love with people that I, I get to know and love and care about, I think is, is a, like, again, a privilege. What am I grateful for? Loads of things. Uh, ditto, ditto. I also think being a part of a movie that is this impressive and this huge and that we are a part of something unbelievably special that people will be watching for years and years and years to come. Like, it's a very unique situation that we're all in. It's an unbelievably special um, moment in time for all of us. It's a huge feeling, a very grateful feeling. Well, first of all, I'm grateful that you started with that question. I've, I've never had an interview start like that. My mom used to write 10 things she was grateful for every morning. And I love that practice so much. And sometimes I forget. When we do this a lot, you know, you go and you do press and um, sometimes you're alone. And to be surrounded by great people like Timothy Zendaya and, and Florence and, and Denis and Josh and Stellan and Leia, now I gotta say everybody, Leia and Rebecca and everybody that we're around. And Javier and, and, and yeah, and, well Javier's not with us right now, but I love him. It's like there's just love and support and um, inspiration that, that I feel from, from each one of you. So I feel very grateful for that. I love that. And Interviewing celebrities has always been a dream of mine. Um, I've always wanted to do red carpets and junkets and talent interviews and it's from a young age, it's the first thing I remember ever wanting to do. So the fact that this is my job and my career and I'm sitting here with you, like, I am so grateful as well. Like, thank you for sharing that with me. Beautiful. It's a great way to start, right? Thank you. It's important. Yeah, I love it. But now transitioning, you four are like such an iconic foursome of celebrities, genuinely. You were like the it people in Hollywood. Like, everyone loves you all. You have such major fandoms. I want to know, Zendaya and Timothy, did you guys have any say in who's going to kind of join your dune clique in <laughs> Florence and Austin? No, not. Nah, well, maybe you did. I, I didn't. Can you imagine? I, I don't think we could have gotten luckier. And I, I think about this a lot, and I talk about this with a close friend, how kindness is so important a, a virtue in this day and age and uh, Austin would, gave just such a beautiful reply not to keep this discussion serious in some way but I, I loved Austin's response there because I feel so lucky to be amongst this group and I really believe that I, I believe in this day and age you know kindness and not bringing that negative energy as Austin said it's so important so I, I did not get a say in it I'm happy I didn't and uh, <laughs> because we got the best group. I would absolutely agree. I think dream casting here, something that I've been, you know, so grateful for in this journey is like being able to work with people that are also lovely people and enjoyable to to work with and to learn from and grow from and that makes the whole experience so much better. So I think when you get that lucky to have incredibly talented people that you're like, wow, every time they walk in, watch what they do, but also, hey, I want to hang out. You know what I mean? I want to get to know you as a person and, and wanting to be around, I think makes the experience so much better. I can feel it in press as well. We, Zendaya and I have been partnered together for everything. We just love talking about each other and talking about what the other person did and and it's that's a very unique situation to be in to enjoy this much talking and hanging out and and constantly interested in what they have to say about their work uh, you know routine or, or what went into making their character it's like it's been a really beautiful process doing this press tour as well as making it do the four of you have a group chat and what's it called we need to do we this need to talk we need about to this we haven't on. done it spice chicks. Spice, spice chicks spice chicks <laughs> spice girls the spice girls Plus, plus, plus boys. Plus, plus two boys. You talk about how much you love spending time with each other, you love the press store, you love everything, but you're not in a group chat together. Does that always mean, you know what I mean? Like group <laughs> chats, we, we, we've been seeing each other every day. We actually hang out in we real life. A, we have a weekly group Zoom, we screen every share. Every Sunday we make every a Yorkshire Sunday. tea and <laughs> family dinners. And watch some old reruns of X Factor and we just chat to each other. X Factor and Chester T. If each of you could travel to the planet of Arrakis, what would you be most excited to experience? And what would be your biggest fear about being there? Oh, the Harkin's there, you know what I mean? <laughs> he gonna be there. So Zendaya's not coming. <laughs> sandworms, while in exciting, they're also kind of terrifying. terrifying. I need to ride a sandworm. I'd be terrified, but I need to know what that feels like. Like, is it like surfing? I wouldn't know. I'd be doing cartwheels and instantly it would come right up. That expanding landscape would just be so stunning to look at. I'd be interested to see where the spice is, just to look at it. Going, Let me clarify, not to saying, use it. 
it just to see. <laughs> Can I take Chani? Yeah. Can Chani actually be there? If it's just us, I think we'd die within a day. We wouldn't survive. Timothy and Austin, the fight scene in this is just incredible and it's so, so great to watch. What was the training like for that and how long did it kind of take you guys to learn how to do that? We had a lot of training individually before we ever met. We had months of, of working general fight training in, in Kali, which is Filipino stick fighting that we did uh, individually in LA for, I don't know, what was it, four four months, something yeah, exactly like that. that yeah. And then we got to Hungary and then we got together and the first day that we met, Zendaya was there. We got immediately into the fight, such a pivotal point in, in the film and in this story and we both had worked so hard so then getting together and it was it was really bonding. I was doing it in my hotel room. I was, I, it was all I thought about was... I still was do that. it. I still do it, yeah. Put it alone in the mirror. Yeah. We do it over Zoom now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Make sound effects. They were brilliant in it. They did it for a week, is that right? Mm -hmm. They would do whole runs of the in the entire stunt and there was probably only like one or two moves that the stuntees were kind of reserved to do and they would still do that and give it a go. It was so fast and it looked so dangerous and they kept doing it all day, every day, until it was completed and it was exhausting watching it because it's a very intense, high pressured uh, fight sequence. It was amazing. And obviously on a press tour you probably asked a million questions and probably a lot are the same over and over and over again. I'm curious. Is there anything that you guys haven't asked each other yet that you want to know? Hmm. I have a question. Your bald cap, at what point in the day were you like, God, I can't wait to get it off? It's a good question. <laughs> when did it get uncomfortable and sticky After and lunch? hot? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it kind of got to a point where I, I, I did, I would forget. It just feels like it's a part of you. But and I was on, focused what, on what so many other things. Day? But it's usually when it got really hot, particularly the arena scene, because I'm outside in the sun and it's 110 degrees and that's on your head. I just would want to cut off, cut the damn thing off. <laughs> did have the same question about the plastic nose pieces to be fair. You said the same thing about those, right? Yeah, you just kind of get used to it. Get sort of get used, used to, to it. it. Yeah. I think yeah. on the first one, I was only there for a week and I was every day, I was like, oh. you know what I mean? You know, I got snot in my nose and I was like, man, how is everybody acting so? Yeah, I just normal. couldn't get it positioned right, kept falling out. And this time you're just like, yeah. Used to it. You like get used to it. You literally get used to it because the first couple days with the nose piece, you know, where I found my nose would be running and <laughs> it felt irritated. And by the end, it felt weird to not have it on. Yeah. You know. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much. Congrats on the thank film. You. Really thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.